today viewers thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem if you are just joining us ensure you also subscribe to this channel for more of our videos now from this question it is obvious that uh, the value of x cannot be equal to zero so from here our x cannot be equal to zero so let represent x as x equals to 1 over t let x be equals to 1 over t then replace x with 1 over t then we have 24 then multiply by 1 over t raised to power 3 as we have replaced x with 1 over t t there so minus 8 times 1 over t square now then equals to 1 then what we have here now let's try to remove the fraction and say we multiply by the SEM which is t raised to power 3 so when we multiply through by t raised to power 3 t raised to power 3 we cancel 3 raised to power 3 on this side we'll be left with 24 then minus we are going to be left with 8t here then on this side multiply by t raised to power 3 we are going to have t raised to power 3 1 times t raised to power 3 is t raised to power 3 then let's use this to form an equation and let's bring everything to one side we have t raised to power 3 now the minus 8 comes there become plus 8t then plus 24 we have minus 24 then equals to 0 now we have an equation of degree 2 here which we can solve by putting you know a value when we put 2 into this place now we discover that 2 will be a 0 of this polynomial t will be 2 rather will be a 0 of this polynomial therefore t minus 2 will be a factor now test when we put 2 here we have 2 raised to power 3 that's 8 then plus 2 times 8 that's 16 2 times 8 16 then minus 24 we this one give us 0 then when we add it 8 plus 16 that's 24 then 24 minus 24 that's 0 so that means 2 is a root or 0 of that polynomial and it implies that t minus 2 will be a factor that's from a remainder theorem and that means if you divide this, you know, polynomial by t minus 2, we, we are going to get the remaining factor. So let's divide now. We have, we want to divide the polynomial t raised to power 3 minus plus 8t, then minus 24, divide by t minus 2. So when t goes in t raised to power 3, we have t squared. Then use t squared to multiply these two numbers. t squared times t, that's t raised to power 3 again. Then t squared times minus 2, that's minus 2t. Two minus 2t two squared. Then by the time we solve this, we subtract. So t raised to power 3 minus t raised to power 3 gone. No t squared up. That means we have minus minus 2t squared that's 2t squared because minus times minus is plus then we have 8t up so that's plus 8t then we have minus 24 then from there now we have now repeating that step that same step when we repeat it now t goes in 2t squared that will give us plus 2t when t goes in 2t squared, then use the 2, 2t to multiply this again. We have 2t squared, then minus 4t. Then subtract again. We have this one cancel each other. Then 8t minus minus 4t. That's 8t plus because minus times minus is plus. 8t plus 4t, that will be 12t. Then minus 24 also repeating that step we have t 
goes in 12 t that will give us plus 12 plus 12 rather so we have plus 12 here so 12 multiply this again we have 12 t then minus 24 so when we subtract again we discover that here we have 0 0 so we are done with that then the remaining factors of this is t squared plus 2t plus 12. So now we can write this as t what we have up now. So we can write t raised to power 3 plus 8t minus 24 equals 0 as t minus 2 times t squared plus 2t then plus 12 equals 0. Then when we solve that now, so I can clean this one. When we solve that, we have from here, 2 t multiply, either of them could be 0, so we can say that t minus 2 equals 0, t minus 2 equals 0, rather we have t minus 2 equals 0, or we have t squared plus 2t plus 12 equals 0. Then from here we see that our t equals to 2 when we take minus 2 here. Now this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by saying t equals to minus b and b is 2 minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square that's 2 square minus 4 a a is 1 then c is 12 then over 2a and a is 1 that's over 2 then when we solve this now for the other values of t we have t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square is 4 then we have minus 4 times 12 now we have minus 48 all over 2 then when we do this further we have t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 44 over 2 and minus square root of minus 1 same thing as i and also we can break 44 as 4 times 11 that's minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 11 i over 2 because square root of minus 1 is i then square root of 4 is 2 let's take it out we have minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 11 i then over 2 of course 2 can go in each of these such that we now have what is left in our v t will be equal to minus 2 sorry 2 as you know divided through so we only have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 11 i because 2 has cancelled each of these two when we divide through so this is the value of t which we can separate and say t equals to minus 1 plus root 11 i and our t is t equal to minus 1 minus root 11 i. Let's recall that our x equals to 1 over t from what we have. So our x equals to 1 over t and from there we can find t and say t will therefore also be equal to 1 over x. So when we put t for 1 over x from what we have, now we say t is 1 over x. Then from here, we can say this is 1 over x equals to 2 for the first value of t. Then we can say that our x now will give us x equals to 1 over 2. That is when we find the reciprocal. So this is a solution here.
from the first value of t. Then let's find also the other value of x from the second value of t. Also, we can replace t with 1 over x here and say 1 over x is equal to minus 1 plus root 11 i. Then since we are finding x, you can take reciprocal also and say this is x equals to 1 over minus 1 plus root 11 i. And when we rationalize this now from here, we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. That's minus 1 minus root 11 i. Then divided by minus 1 minus root 11 i. That means we have rationalized this. And so therefore we multiply. So when we multiply 1 with this. So x equals to t minus 1 minus root 11 i. Then over when we multiply these two, they are conjugate sort. So it will give us minus one squared, then minus root eleven i squared. So applying difference of two squares there, and uh, what we have for we still be the same thing, and here we have minus one, minus one squared as one. We have root 11 square, that's 11, i square, i square will give us minus 1 because i is equal to square root of minus 1. So from here, we have minus 11 inside this bracket, then times minus 1, that's plus 11. So 1 plus 11 here gives us 12. So we have x now equals to minus 1 minus root 11i over 12 and also we can separate it and say this will give us x equals to minus 1 over 12 minus root 11i over 12 so this is another value of x here and let's get the third value of x from the third value of t here so we can also say that t is 1 over x and is equal to minus 1 minus root 11 high. Also when we take reciprocal, we have x equals to 1 over minus 1 minus root 11 high. Then we can also rationalize this by multiplying with the conjugate sort. So that's times minus 1 plus root 11 i over minus 1 plus root 11 i so we multiply with the conjugate so there then x will now be equal to 1 times this is still the same thing as minus 1 plus root 11 i then over this are conjugate so minus 1 squared now then minus root 11i squared. So when we find this in the same way, we have equals to minus 1 plus root 11i over 12. So this will give us 12. 1 squared is 1. And all this one inside here, that's minus 11 times 1, that's plus 11 now. So that's 12. Then, when we separate this, we have x equals to minus 1 over 12 then also plus root 11 i over 12 so this is the third value of x that we have from there so we have three values of x for this problem and we have come to the to the end of this you know problem say thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.